I don't know about y'all. But I do believe God is, is, is talking to us. You know, when we try to sing certain songs and it just won't come, we know what we want, but God knows what we need. Come on, man. You see, you see, some of us got some stuff that we need to turn that thing loose so God can turn us around. Some of us, we are holding on to some stuff. All it is doing is causing us to be confused. If we would just turn it loose, come on now. God will turn us around. Amen. Amen. Don't get me wrong. I love the amen. amen. Just make sure yeah. that you got it right with God. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So we can glorify Him. Yeah. It's not glorifying with the watch. Come on now. Because yeah. I will disappoint you. <laughs> I don't mean to. Come on. Yeah. I, it's not my intention. Yeah. But I disappoint you. Yeah. I won't do something you want me to do. Come on now. And you get mad at the attitude. But if you do what the Lord says, you, <laughs> you won't be so disappointed. Is that right? right? That's why we stay mad at the church for a long time. I told the pastor to do something. No, then I wouldn't have messed up that. <laughs> Deny that self. Pick up your cross. 
and follow me. That's it. Man. He didn't know what he was talking about. Right. Jesus had more than 12 disciples made. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when the time became a little more difficult, yeah. many of them returned home. Yeah. When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at him, he turned to them and said, does this offend you? Jesus. So Jesus began to put the word on him. Uh -huh. He began to put the word on him. Yes, sir. But there are some of you that believe not. Uh -huh. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were. He will let you know. So Jesus already know yeah. if you follow him or not. Yeah. You act like yeah. uh, you give the appearance of. Yeah. In that end of his revelation, you, 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 you act like you got life, uh -huh. but really you're dead. Yes. I think I preached a little, a little while ago. Everybody who come in your life, 
Yeah. Amen. Yes, they, they, they don't mean to be there, but I promise you when they leave, they don't talk to you something. Amen. Yes, <laughs> Amen. Yes, Amen. Everybody who come in here like they don't talk. You miss the hour up. They don't talk to you something. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> you get a you get a you get a sorry broke person, negative person. Yeah, they done came in your life, and every time you try to go up, girl, I don't know why you're doing that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. They don't care nothing about you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the only one looking. Yeah. Oh, right. You're gonna find out that's a lot. <laughs> so they don't, so, so they teach you how yeah. to monitor those who lie. Come on in, right? Come on in. Yeah. You don't want to look for. Yeah. Now if you go back there and get some, that's your fault. Yeah. You don't talk. <laughs> they don't talk to you. <laughs> Trying to go along now, we must call on Jesus to walk every step with us. Yeah. He wrote the song, yeah. the writer said in Jacob, when he wrote the word of the song, yeah. I want Jesus. Yeah. Come on now, say so you know. Yeah. Yeah. The journey requires someone with a steady hand. Yes. Yeah. There's another song that says, God, behold, thou great Jehovah. All right, yeah. Yeah. See, I can't do it by myself. Come on in. But, 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 but I know it costs. Yes. But if he got me, yeah. hmm. huh? Yeah. All right. Alone, do this way. All right. Yes. But say, I'm weak. Yes. And I need thy strength. Oh, yes. And power. All right. To help me over yes. my weakness. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Come on now. Mm. So y'all know the songs. Amen. Yes. Church, to make this Christian walk. It requires that we become committed to walk with Jesus every day. Yes. This is why Jesus made these statements in Luke. If you plan on following me, you must deny yourself. Yes. Yes. You should not allow anything to come before me. Yes. You want a desire, your wants and desire should never come. Come on now. Jesus. Can I say something to you? Come on. Don't get upset. Y'all know why I always say that. I would let disclaimer that. Yeah. Don't spend your whole life mm -hmm. working 25 jobs. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> trying to get a $50 cabin. Amen. 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 And you get the $50 cabin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it costs you $75 to keep it up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Huh? Get what you can, what you can afford, right. oh, right. Right. and enjoy life. Amen. Yes. 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 Tell your secret. Mm -hmm. Them cars don't care nothing about you. Y'all look at me like a great. Come on in. Y'all go out and possess them. That, that's mine. Yeah. Yeah. That's my baby. Yeah. Right. I tell you what, let me borrow. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to stand beside the road when I'm with you. Let me borrow. I promise you I'll come right by you. Shoot! I promise you that car won't stop automatically because you stand there. It won't even turn into the place you at. It'll keep going and take me where I want to go. And you won't get mad. You see, you won't get mad at the car, you won't get mad at me. You say, I'd rather drive my car, wouldn't even stop and pick me up. You say your car loves you and know you so much that your car needs to know you standing on the side of the road. Isn't that right? Yeah. So, so don't let the thing get it in front of you. Yeah. If you truly want to be my disciple, yeah. deny yourself, pick up your cross, mm -hmm. and follow me. Amen. Amen. No matter what we do, it costs. Yeah, it does. You want to get a good education? Yeah. It costs. Yeah. All right. I'm not talking about money. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about study. Yeah. You got to study. Yeah. Amen. You don't study, you ain't getting no education. Amen. Amen. You got to study. Yeah. To get a good education. Right. To advance yourself. When you really want something, mm -hmm. Brother Bernard, mm -hmm. when you want to learn how to play that guitar over there, right. <laughs> you have to. Leave the boys alone. Uh -huh. And you had to get there and every day. You had to practice on. Everybody else outside. Yeah. 
and you sitting there practicing. That's right. Huh? That's right. That's right. You know, it's a fact. We got to look at people be calling you. You got to say, I can't talk to you right now. I got to do what I got to do. So I don't know why we get mad because we say cost. But one thing I do know, cost got his reward. Isn't that right? Well, do what I'm supposed to do. Then on the other end, well, I can call some names with me. I can call Brother Hamlet. I can call Brother Christopher Hart. Matter of fact, I can call Sister Ruby Stewart. I can call Sister Gloria Moore. So I can call some names today, y'all. I can call now. I can call Brother Cecil Knox today. If they had not put in, they wouldn't be having no good time today. They'd probably still be working somewhere. They wouldn't have no check coming in once a while. Huh? They wouldn't have no little dividend they put aside. Because they knew that the day was coming. They knew they had to put something in. It cost them on the other side. Am I right, Brother Stewart? It cost you, but the reward. The reward is worth it. Am I right? The reward is worth it. In order, in order, in order, in, in order to understand, in order for the church to grow, the church won't grow until we become committed to it. Come on in. That means we got to sacrifice sometimes. That's up. Everybody think this church just automatically do things. Somebody taking the time to make it grow. Huh? Come on now. For those of you who go back home, yeah. and when you go back home, and you sit down in your chair, uh -huh. and you cut your little TV on, yeah. or your radio on, Come on in. and you may not even cut neither of them on, yeah. but you get you a glass of tea, yeah. or water, yeah. or whatever you drink. Yeah. Ain't that right? Yeah. I ain't say what you drink now, yeah. but whatever you drink, yeah. and you cut your air conditioning off, yeah. and you just get in your chair and you just lay back. Yeah. See, that didn't, didn't happen because it happened. It happened because you worked for it. Yeah. It happened because you, because there were some things you wanted, but you didn't get. You held back on it a little bit. Isn't yeah. that right? Yeah. See, when, you know, when you follow Jesus, it costs. All right, that's yes, good. But the reward <laughs> is worth it. Thank you. He told me, come on, Red. I come that you may have life. And that you may have it more abundantly. He sacrificed so that I could enjoy the thing called life. Isn't that right? And then he turned around and he said, if you work hard enough, he said, heaven belongs to you. Isn't that right? Come on in. See, it, it, it ain't easy. No. But it's worth the sacrifice. Thank you, Lord. It costs to follow Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The other night, Thursday night. Y'all don't remember this now. Y'all remember, don't tell nobody now. But I told them, quit listening to people tell lies. People be lying to them. They're trying to tell you. If you're in the street out there, yeah. say they don't beg like they beg in the church. Uh -huh. That's a lie. Uh -huh. <laughs> they beg out there just as hard as they beg in the church. Amen. Amen. Y'all remember them clubs y'all used to go to? You had cover charges. Yeah, right. I'm messing with them, Sister Ruth. They look at me like I'm crazy. You had cover charges then. Cover charging like 10, 15, maybe 20 dollars there. And then when you went in there, you sit down at the table, they didn't want you to sit there without order. Shut! Am I right? And so you had to pay some money to get a little drink, even if you drink Coca Cola Pepsi. And they charge you like $2 for it. 
see what I'm talking about? Amen. Amen. That's the Lord calling me, Father. <laughs> It's too late now, the man, the man, it'll go away. It'll go away. <laughs> that was easy. See how I put it up there? That was the Lord saying, Rev. I told you, Rev. I told you, Rev. But what they don't know? What they don't know, they done messed up now. So I'm going to cut it all the way off. Yeah, it shouldn't have called me like that. No, that was the, that was the, I always tell people that's the Lord calling me <laughs> to remind me that it costs. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. No matter what you do in life, it's cost. Don't let nobody be lying to you. Yes. You do better out there in the world, you in church. Anything out there in the world costs you. Yes. Hmm? Yes. When I was out there, I was, I was doing what I wanted to do. Yes. And then you were ducking and dodging. Yes. You had to duck. Yes. And then if somebody looking at you, you had to dodge. All right. All right. In the right. Amen. It costs you then. Amen. When you're out there trying to run them streets, it costs you. Jesus. Because you got to be clean every night you go out there. So it costs you $300 every time you put a suit on. I'm helping somebody today. Sometimes people lying to us and telling them it costs us more to come to church than it is in the world. But what costs you out there? Come on now. No matter what you do, it costs you. I quit trying to keep up with the Joneses. Man, the Joneses was buying that $45. I thought it was $45. Come to find out they were paying for $10 for it. Here I am buying $55 and losing all my money. Huh? It costs you. It costs every one of us. And if this, if St. Peter's going to grow, yes, it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you yes. your free time. Yes. Sometime. Mm -hmm. It's going to cost you the sacrifice. Yes. Yes. Quit being in a hurry. Yes. Now, yeah, I see y'all get fanning. Uh -huh. But I remember, I remember my grandparents. Mm -hmm. Who remember the time before air conditioning? Mm -hmm. And they kept me in church. We only do an hour and a half now. They kept me in church four or five hours. And, and, and see, we didn't lie, we were sweating. But we ain't had nothing compared to. No. But now, but now, but now, it, 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 it's a little different now. See, these young people don't know that. They're looking at us like, what are you talking about? Every day? Remember when I came in, every day was in play. Oh, no, not when I was. I had, had them windows where you push the windows up. Put them on fans in the windows. And you and you are praying that the air will come your way. Yes, sir. Am I right? But yes, our four parents, our ancestors, sacrificed so that we could be in places like this. Thank you. They died. They gave their life up in order that we could be in places like this. They, they did some things that we wasn't doing. All of that we could be here today. And so we talk about following Jesus. Yes, it costs that we follow Him. Yes. But ain't nothing wrong. I'd rather pay that cost than to pay the cost to follow Satan. Because they say when I follow Jesus, the reward is everlasting. The reward is satisfying. But when I call, when I follow Satan, they tell me that the reward ain't nothing but hell. My God. I can't remember the whole song. Yeah. But I remember part of it. It was an old song that he used to sing back in. When we, a lot of times the it went for children. Then he sung it for vacation Bible school. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus, I have decided to follow Jesus, no turning back, no turning back, the cross 
before me, the world behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me, no
even around the altar, even around the altar. Ah. Get ready to go in prayer, y'all. Brother Stack, I won't back it by yourself. Somebody go over here and catch Sister Jones' hand. I don't want to buy a second. Someone catch Sister Jones' hand. No turning back. We got a little one trying to, trying to take a drop from him. But he's going to be okay. Oh, yes. Get ready for prayer. Brother Crook. Praise God. Praise God. Most holy and everlasting Father, yes. we humbly come before your throne of mercy and grace. Yes. Yes. Lord. There is nothing, Father, that we've done that caused us to be here today. But it's all by your grace. Yes. So we say thank you. Thank you. We say thank you for being here today, Father. We say thank you for starting us on this journey today, Lord. We know how we bother you know every step of the way. And we say thank you. Father, there are some things, some things in our closets that needs to be cleaned out. So we ask you know, Father, that you're the only one. So we are asking you to stay here, Father, to go into every nook and cranny in our hearts. We move from there when it's not a me, Father. And replace it with your love, with your compassion, with your empty, empty Father. We're asking you. Heavenly Father, to walk the corridors of the hospitals. Yes. See your children lying there, Heavenly Father. Lift them up. Let me touch them. Let them know that you are there with them. Father, we are asking you to open those jail cells there. All your children that are incarcerated, Father. Some for no fault of their own. We are asking you to step in there and take over, Heavenly Father. We are asking you this afternoon to visit them. The senior citizen yes. or the nursery at the yes. hospital. Yes. Let them feel your presence. Yes. Father, we pray this afternoon yes. for our children. Yes. Lord, bless our children. Yes. Yes. Let the Holy Spirit walk with them. That I will give them wisdom for the Lord to nurture them. Yes. Father, we ask you, Heavenly Father, right now, in the name yes. of Jesus, yes. that you look down upon us with an eye of The same way we walk in here, yes. Understand that we are your children, yes. dear Lord, and we are searching, we are still seeking, yes. and we want your guidance, Lord. Yes. So we can't ask for no more, we can't ask for a better leader. Yes. You've given us your son, yes. and we're trying to do the best we can to work with your help, And I do this by ourselves. Yes. So we are asking you in the name of yes. the Spirit. Yes. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, yes. to touch each one of us right now. Continue to love us. Continue to give us the guidance that we need, dear Do not leave us alone. Sometimes we can be unruly, dear But we are a work in progress. You said that there is nobody perfect on this side of glory. And we are doing the journey so that we can get on the other side of the world. So we ask you to walk with us. Even though we may not seem like we want to be there, dear Lord, drag us along and we Because you know how stubborn we can be. So we're praying to you, Lord, that you hear our prayer from the depths of our hearts. That you will anoint, yes. continue, yes. anoint your service. Yes. Yes. We are all here to serve. Yes. We are your good soldiers, Lord. Yes. So whatever it is that you have us do, we just ask for your guidance. Yes. We pray this prayer in the blessed name of your son, the one who hung on Calvary's cross, the one who gave his life for our salvation. We are praying in his name. So we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.